There's a new kid on the block. The Polemia. Yeah, by Seiko. Okay, so Philip, new... Philip Seiko, we should start yes, saying. Yes, <laughs> I guess we should, or we could. <laughs> um, so why don't you tell me what this bad boy's all about? Well, it's one of their um, newer entry-level machines. Mm -hmm. Pressurized port filter which makes it entry level. Um, and this portafilter, unlike the one on the Viva Venezia or the Aroma, is aluminum versus um, chrome-plated brass. Okay. So, so it's, it's light, much lighter. The basket on the inside is still stainless steel, mm -hmm. but it is, this is pressurized just like the other one. It's got the same mechanism down here. That's in there with a vengeance. I'm not yeah. going to take it out. It actually does have a... Um, friction fitting spring in there so you got to yeah. use something to get yeah, it out it's a little harder the other ones were already difficult now it's a little harder <laughs> this is a, a two fingernail bust. exactly so anyway stainless steel boiler on the inside stainless steel clad casing as you can see and when i say clad that means it's plastic on the inside with a skin of stainless steel okay okay water tank down here well i've got this open and i believe we determined this was about 40 ounces right yes all right. Make sure when you put this in that you push it. You gotta down. push it all, all the way. Down. You gotta get it all the way below that. There. Okay. Below. You gotta get down to that line. If it's only part way, it's gonna leak all over the counter. Which we have experienced. What? <laughs> <laughs> Not us. <laughs> storage up here for your scoop, mm -hmm. and this is the single basket, and along with the rubber disc for doing single and pods. Okay. You can do pods with this machine, like all the Seiko. Machines you can do pods. Uh, let's see, cup warmer, and it's just a uh, passive cup warmer from the boiler. Mm -hmm. uh, Panarello for a steam arm. This steam arm still just goes horizontal like the Aroma, but it does have the Panarello like on the Giro's and that. Okay. Dump um, <clears throat> box right here, or drip tray. Mm -hmm. It's got baffles, which makes it so that when you pick it up and it's full and it gets way over full, like I do all the time, <laughs> I'm not going to get so much on my jacket or just, my shirt. Just that you'll get 30% less. <laughs> yeah, 30, for me, 30% less. For anybody else, it'll do the trick. <laughs> yeah. um, and so as far as function here, how, how yeah. does this work up here? So let me top this up just a little bit because I think, well, of course, I'll spill water all over. Um, this is for brewing and this is for steam. Mm -hmm. If you want steam, put it over here and then... When it gets up to steam temperature, it, the light will come on, and you can open the steam arm. Okay. If you go the other way, you're going to breathe here. Got it. Okay. Cool. And that's it. And you turn it on, and the light will turn green when it's ready to go, and the on-off is in the back here. All right. So let's pause, and we'll pull some shots, eh? Hey. This is a self-tamping, by the way, too. That's why this is not tamp. I think I'll put it into one because I think I can. Good. Yes, well, I and that's going to cover up any kind of crookedness, huh, Gail? Hey, stop. <laughs> I see what you're doing here. <laughs> I see you. I know you. I know your, your type. Come on. Look at that. Look how level it is. <laughs> no comment. It is coming out crooked, and it did the last time I used it, too. Mm -hmm. Even self-tamping doesn't work for you, Grammy. <laughs> the machines are all against me. <laughs> I'm going to say that's a done deal. Okay, so. Nice. Looks putty. Looks putty. You can do a test? Sure. Not bad. Taste it. It's good. It's a typical shot out of one of these machines, a little less full-bodied than you would get out of others, but not yeah. bad. But you know what? Not bad at all. That's you use Velton's Twilight Blend, which is generally we use for pour-over. I mean, you can do espresso if you want, mm -hmm. um, but uh, it actually produces a really rich shot off of those it's pressurized I think the machines. Twilight's pretty darn good. I agree. Yep. Cool. All right, so let's pause and we'll do a cappuccino. So we're going to steam, and I've already purged the, the wand. The wand. No, is it? Boiled my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to use my mom voice on you. Damn. Gail! <laughs> Don't touch the burning stove again. Of course, your mother voice is different than my actual mother voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stay. Okay. 
So, uh, how, like, you don't really have much control, or did were you able to do much with it? No, I didn't really. do anything. <laughs> you just kind of let it do its thing. Yep. Hung out. Yep. It's a panorama. Think back, had a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, again, with the only horizontal, if you have too much milk, you're going to spill it when you try to get that on, unless you want to elevate the machine, put it up on a block. Yeah. And so, this is a 20-ounce pitcher. That people is a 20-ounce. People always be ask us the size of the pitchers. In general, in our videos, we use 20 ounces. It's rare when we use a different size. I'd say a 12 or a 16 on this machine might be better. Yeah. <clears throat> go, cow, go. Uh -huh. I'll give you a little moo in a second. I was saying, you know, we were talking about that, you know, the the shot on this. We use that Velton's. It's a darker roast. We use Twilight. I yeah. might, I might, uh, I might see a case for using a darker roast on some of these lower end machines that don't produce a particularly rich shot. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, but we're not going to get much foam out of that because I let it separate too much. But no. Here you go. Taster Let's, her up. Taste her up. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. Quite good. I think the toilet is yummy for a shot in this machine. Yeah. We'll yeah. Have to try it in some of the other ones. Yeah. I mean, that's one of the things, right, with these guys, these smaller single boilers, especially with these uh, pressurized porta filters. Mm -hmm. um, the shots aren't necessarily super rich. No, but like that made it off. better. I thought. Yeah. I thought it was a lot better. I might have to change a little bit of my tune. Okay, so pros, cons, I thought maybe you could also give a little compare and contrast about mm -hmm. how this measures up with the uh, Aroma and Via Venezia models. Um, compact, nice looking, stainless steel, and both the Aroma and the Via Venezia come in stainless steel as well, solid stainless steel. This is a stainless clad. Okay. It's probably a little bit lighter. Um, this is like the Aroma where it has the Panarello that does not swing out. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't have the ball joint like the Via Venezia. It does have you know, a drip tray that when you get liquid in there baffles. Mm -hmm. It's not so apt to go all over you when you take it out if it's full. Um, the, the Aroma and Via Venezia do not. They do not have that. No. Cup warmer up here which they both have. Um, storage up here, which I think is nice. Neither one of them have that. Well, the Via Venezia does technically have that little drawer. It does have a drawer, you're right. It yeah, does have but the drawer. aroma doesn't have anything. That's true, yeah. Uh, 40 ounce water tank, which their water tanks as well are very large for the size of the machines. Yeah. Both of those machines. Easy to get at, remove. That's yes. one of the things with the um, Via Venezia. Some people don't like it's hard yeah. to open that top. You've got to pull it out front. Yep. Yeah. And when you pull it out of the front, you've got to take the porta filter out. You've got to take all the trays out. Yeah. This comes right out of the top. But you have to be super careful about seating it so See you don't leak everywhere. With the arrows, you have to get it down mm -hmm. to that. Um, the one drawback I would say, I think it's a plus machine all around except for the porta filter. And you can retro it. If you yeah. want to, this is the one off the Via Venezia. It's dribbling all over my foot. <laughs> it's chrome plated brass, much heavier. It's probably twice as heavy. This is aluminum. And you can also use the non pressurized porta filter that we offer for those machines. It will fit this Poemia as well. Or the bottomless if you want to go bottomless. crazy. Exactly. You can, uh, you can see the amount of water in the water tank in the front. And if you take the lid off, you can see it even better. If, well, it's full, so. It just looks yeah, like you it can't. Is. It's, it's yeah. way up here. <laughs> uh, but it does have the stylistic of the Excelsis, Expralia, yes. Cynthia, that class of machines. Agree. Yeah, and it's, um, yeah, it's a newer model for sure. The other ones are tried and true and been around forever. Now, that, to address that, the tried and true, mm -hmm. this has the same guts. Yeah. So the working portion on the inside, the boiler and all that's the same as the other two. No and I difference. believe it's going to come in price-wise a little bit lower than the other two. A little less. Because it's not a, a solid metal case. Yep, it's the um, stainless clad. Yeah. So that makes it a little less. Cool. All right. So that is the Philip Seiko Poemia. Yeah. Thank you very much, Gal. You're welcome. Have a good day.